Georgia Tech 45, Georgia 42. Nesbitt under center, swings Jones in motion. He'll fake the toss, take it around the edge, and Josh will be tackled. One second left. How about that? That'll do it. There'll be one second left. The play clock, there's one second of differential between the two. And Paul Johnson has come to Athens and done it, Rick, mm. and he has done it in some kind of dramatic fashion. And Mark Rick is going to lose for just the third time to a non-conference opponent in his eight years as Georgia's head coach. There's the flag for delay of game, but guess what? Delay of the game, offense, five-yard penalty, still fourth down. Yeah, you get to take a knee here and win the game. Please reset the game clock to one second. Wow. We will start this clock on the snap. The game Great. clock will start on the snap. I'll tell you what, this has got Urban Meyer a little bit written on it, doesn't it? It's not a timeout, but it's painful. It is painful. So after seven disappointing, disappointing games against the University of Georgia, Josh Nesbitt will take a snap. He's going to touch a knee. And at halftime, they walked to the cliff and overlooked the valley of defeat down as they were. And they looked into the valley of defeat and said, nope, not today, boys. The Jackets scored 26 unanswered, Rick, and win today. My goodness, they've already turned the scoreboard off. 45-42 is the final in Athens. Paul Johnson and the Yellow Jackets, some said they'd be 3-9. and nine. They got a case of the 9-3s. and threes. And I don't know where the bowl's going to be, but they may have won a bowl game here today, Rick. Uh, what you just cannot say enough about the effort. Can't say enough about the way they came out after halftime, the way Paul Johnson handled it, the way that he, he didn't, sounds like he didn't rant and rave, didn't jump over everybody, just told them it's out there if they want it. Out there, just go execute. Tech came out and just stunned this place. And a team that 14 weeks ago was on the cover of Sports Illustrated as the preseason nation's number one, Finishes the regular season at 9-3. and three. Stay tuned. Long post game coming after this on ISP Sports.